Hello. I thought I'd sh share with you in this vlog my planning stage for this uh, fall junk journal that I'm thinking about doing. As you can see, this junk journaling is really, really taking over my thoughts and I'm loving it. This is the uh, tail end of my Halloween trove. And as I was digging down deeply, I found a um, Halloween journal uh, from, I, I think, uh, 2016. I didn't uh, do much for Halloween last year because uh, we had just uh, lost our uh, sweet girl uh, Chihuahua in uh, September and uh, our hearts were just not in this kind of thing. So um, I thought I would uh, go through this and see about some ideas. This was a tunnel book that I had made and had lots of fun doing. As you can see, I used some uh, a good deal of collage, some stenciling in various in various uh, colors, and this background is a uh, watercolor. The background here is um, stippled acrylics, as I remember. And here I am a little bit further into the uh, into the tunnel. And as you can see, I wanted to cover up that stitching, but I didn't know too much about the proper way. But now I have learned. And I'm probably going to think of a way to try to reuse this ribbon because uh, this satin ribbon is double-sided and is absolutely beautiful with uh, cats on it. So here, more stamping and stenciling and collaging and painting. And that's acrylic. And this is the uh, spread that I was most, most uh, proud of. I uh, put on a tree in acrylic and some grass and added some uh, stenciling and some stenciled birds and so forth and just well oh yes it was uh, 9 28 16 I signed this one probably because I loved it so much I think when I put my uh, I fill my family room full of uh, Halloween decorations I think I'll stand this up just so that I can look at it because this makes me happy and here is my very favorite uh, sky colors, my uh, oops, must have gotten away from me. Yes, it has. I shall have to look for that blue uh, and share it with you. Uh, I will do a similar sky uh, in my new journal. And. the final end of this journal right here so and at that time I would also started this uh, fall chopped journal uh, from a, uh, a magazine as you can see and I use some of my uh, silk needlepoint ribbons as the tie and the back cover as the front cover of my journal. Gesso. Here is a rather thin uh, magazine page, but I did a combination of um, uh, umber and uh, black to uh, gesso out that page. For some reason, I don't remember why I, uh, oh yes, there was writing on the front of this table, so I, I uh, painted over that. Painting painting and uh, playing up this dark green color on the pumpkins. A uh, page of mixed media paper added with some collage. And another one that I was really tickled with. I wanted to finish this motif and sprawl it across this page. So 
I uh, got out my acrylics and made flowers and a pumpkin and the background and so forth. And uh, this uh, this one also quite tickles me. I might not be above removing that and using it. We'll we'll see. And so forth, and so on. I uh, grade that sidewalk, gessoed, and I liked this one. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to keep it, and I'm still not sure. So I did some painting out. Did some more painting out there, because of the, uh, I wanted to cover the writing. And this is uh, just waiting either to be played uh, in as is, or to be used as fodder for uh, a junk journal. <clears throat> this is a piece of collage and I worked around it. And the back uh, is a piece of mixed media paper and I used uh, bits of collage and uh, gessoed over it uh, with, uh, no I didn't gesso, I believe this is uh, Golden's uh, uh, Fine. Where is it? It's always at hand. Zinc white. Love that for covering up uh, collage bits. So, these are the bits that are left over and that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'd forgotten that I bought that beautiful taffeta ribbon. And this crepe paper, and a, some more ribbon, and just some bits and pieces. I noticed this is stickers and this is rub-ons. Goodness, I hope I have more luck with rub-ons than I did the other day. That was not wonderful. And so, things that uh, tickled me then are certainly tickling me now because I can see these pieces of rick-rack and edging and ribbon just working a treat. And when I dug deeply, I found this folder. And I have, I had cut out some Halloween bits of collage. And aren't they just a tickle? And I saved this when I first started, um, when I first started mixed media. One of the projects that uh, Gina Ahrens was doing uh, was a Halloween scene. And uh, the first time that I had ever used, um, this is, I believe, a, a piece of tracing paper uh, in which I uh, made a ghostly, a ghostly girl for uh, walking in the woods. And I kept that, and I'm happy now that I see it, that I did. Just a bit more of collage, um, things that might be fun to use. So, I also, oh, I also have another copy of this book, which I might or uh, might not use. Maybe I'll save it for, uh, for next fall. But there are certainly an awful lot of lovely, uh, a lovely images in here that would work a treat for um, for collage. So I'm going to tuck that away again, and then I went looking for papers for my junk journaling, and I found this piece of uh, embossed orange paper that I had just uh, just done experimenting and seeing how I could work that machine again because it's been ages. And then I found some uh, papers with some colors that I thought uh, might work. This is a piece of, uh, in a, uh, a learning year, some things cut out of books, pads. I had a few pieces of paper that I thought might uh, work. This, this was my uh, first um, painty papers um, try from last week, 
and I found a little bit of this paper and these two colors. Uh, I don't want to uh, go out and invest in a Halloweenish type uh, pad because uh, uh, the sky's the limit and you can have too much paper and it's only a, uh, a one-off season, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make do. But then, of course, yesterday, the urge to make more painty papers came over me and uh, I've discovered this. Um, all of you who junk journal know that uh, the addictions do come. So I used what I thought might be uh, qualify as Halloween papers on my uh, Thurber, Thurber book pages. And uh, now that I put the BBs in the um, in those ink bottles, uh, there is definitely a beautiful shine to those uh, to those pages. Um, that I did not get with that first batch. Colors that I didn't even know were in that bottle are now being uh, shaken up and brought to the fore. I wish I, you could see them more clearly. And some more um, dictionary pages. And then I thought, oh, my craft paper that I've been painting on, why not? So I tried that and I thought, this would look nice in a fall journal. And then I did another one. This stencil is, um, I decided it was kind of fallish and creepyish looking, so uh, I did uh, two colors of ink and I had to move my stencil and uh, it seemed to work. So I've learned something, I've learned something new about uh, spraying. And here are my uh, fun pages with uh, copier paper. And this is a little bit heavier weight. Um, I believe this is cardstock. Yes, it is. So I wanted to experiment again. So this was the uh, that stencil that I just showed you. And uh, I'm quite tickled with the results here. And that would certainly be pretty uh, in a junk journal. Some more of the uh, cleanups. And, again, I had this that I removed from a, uh, uh, a book. I picked out the uh, stitching. And there is an, a coppery gold tinge to this uh, brown color that is on here. And I thought, my, wouldn't this be pretty? So, that was yesterday at uh, 3 o'clock. All of a sudden, Carol had her spray box out. I guess I like doing it. I also cut out a, uh, I use Canson watercolor papers for a signature, and I cut out using this uh, witch's hat uh, for a see-through. And this is going to be my, uh, my Halloween signature. It says in the fine print, yes. So, and I am going to be making some uh, journal covers, and I thought this was kind of fallish. And uh, so, I thought that I could put Halloween and uh, Thanksgiving and fall in general in this journal. Uh, I've stitched it, it's ready to go, and I have practice on this uh, polypropylene, and it takes gessoing, it takes painting, it takes uh, collaging, stenciling, and so forth, although this cover might be uh, kind of pretty, and I might leave it that way, maybe add a little bit of a pumpkin or whatever, but uh, this is a uh, kind of a prototype for um, uh, journals that might be... Uh, that might be uh, coming to my uh, Etsy shop in the uh, in the near future, and uh, there's plenty of room in there for quite a few signatures. So I thought that uh, I would share this with you, and I cannot wait to begin. 
I'm going to be uh, trying to do um, a little bit of the Halloween journal this week because um, this will be the last week we will be home because we are going to be leaving on uh, Labor Day for five days up in um, uh, Lake Lanier and in Pine Mountain in Georgia. So uh, if you don't see me at that time, you'll know that uh, I haven't uh, fallen down a rabbit hole of uh, uh, junk journal play, but that uh, I'm in, out enjoying the uh, uh, friends and a, uh, a little sightseeing and, of course, a little mall diving. So, if you have enjoyed my uh, share, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Bye now.